that was better than we expected, wasn't it? A lot better, yeah. Not as narrow or shallow. Is that the right word? <laughs> anyway, not as bad at all. And we make pretty good time, I think. I think we did. Probably 40 minutes. 40 minutes, I back, think. Getting through, so it's pretty good. We didn't see the skeleton. Apparently it was on the left-hand side. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, maybe next time we'll see that. If you haven't seen it yet, our last video shows us going through the Hare Castle Tunnel. And thank you to all the eagle-eyed viewers that spotted the skeleton that we totally missed. I didn't even notice it while I was doing the editing. If you've seen our last few episodes, you'll know that we've been travelling with Paul and Anthony from YouTube channel Now About Life Unlocked. We're heading south on the Trenton Mersey Canal towards our final destination, the Quick Boat Show. We've got less than two miles, we're planning on mooring up at Westport Lake or Middleport. So not too far, which is good because it's still chucking it down with rain. Great. great location. The only downside is loads of goose poo. I have visions of us sat out in a deck chair having a barbecue at this time of year. Look! <laughs> My hands are freezing. Look! It's not good. <laughs> deck star. Wanna get off? That's a good start. Yeah, just felt like the road caught it as it sometimes does.
We were planning to get as far as we could from Westport Lake down to Stone. The canal plan was telling us it was 12 lots and almost 7 hours, but we've learnt to add a bit onto their estimate anyway. Are you ready to go Poppy? Are you ready to go? What can you see? Come on Hamish, time to go. Good boy. I'll help you, it's a bit hard to jump that isn't it? You ready everybody? Should we go and see if Anthony's ready? Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Right. Are you ready to cruise now? Uh, six hours. <laughs> yeah. Got to do what Pete says, we've got to get there, we'll never Absolutely. get too quick. <laughs> Right See you later. Right. 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 As Paul was doing a magic show that day, Anthony was on his own on the boat. So the three of us had decided to get as far as we could towards Stone. Closer to Stoke on Trent, we started to see the evidence of the potteries that the area is famous for. The ceramic industry began to boom in the Industrial Revolution. The old pottery kilns around the city are hard to miss and they stand testament to the incredible work produced in the city. one of the remaining bottle kilns, named because of its shape. In the heyday of the pottery industry in Stoke, it's estimated there are up to 4,000 bottle kilns, and there's only 47 still standing. You can still visit some today in the form of museums. This is Middleport Pottery, built in 1888. It was actually featured in an episode of Peaky Blinders. Bottle kiln.
The buildings, which still house an active pottery, are protected for their historic interest. Lock of the day, there's a guy opened it for us. He just said that on the left there is the entrance to the Cowden Canal. And Rob the Lock. This is the famous Rob the Lock that we've Hello. read so much about wow. and he just comes to help out the goodness of his heart. People come through the locks. Thanks Rob. Thank you, Thank you very much. My, num my number's the top one. It, and the, uh, phone moving, laundry, shopping. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, everything, you. everything you need on a boat. So where, where do you base yourself? Just in, anywhere in this area? I go from here to Great Haywood. Yeah. I do all the Heartbreak Hill and all the Cauldron. No no now you tell us, we and, did Heartbreak and, Hill on our own. <laughs> and Bosley and Wolverhampton. Blimey. <laughs> So there's Rob, he's set the lock for us and he's cycling back to help Anthony through the next lock. Just goes backwards and forwards on his bike. Fantastic. So he's just cycled down, opened the paddles for this one and uh, we're just waiting for that to empty, fill. We're waiting for it to fill actually. And then open the gate and come in.
back on his bike, going down to set the next one for us. Wow, he just whizzes around on his bike. This lock, I'll help him through this lock. Between the three of us, and with Rob the lock's help, we really got a good system going for getting through the locks. believe our luck that Rob had turned up on the day that we needed some extra help. We'd seen him in other narrowboat vlogs and he's a bit of a legend in the area. And there goes Rob the Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy's got a friend for life yeah, there. Yes. Are you a bit fussy, are you? You're not, are you? You're lovely, yes. <laughs> I'll take you home. I'll take you in my pockets. <laughs> I'm going to get my trailer and take you. Take you home. Yeah. Poor then. Oh, yeah. So Rob is just working the lock for me. Then he's going to jump back on his bike, pedal back to the lock behind to help Anthony through, and then he'll cycle forward again and get the next one for us it's incredible what a star robert said that he could get his partner tammy to come and help out then we'd easily be able to get to stone by the end of the day between the two boats while Rob was cycling ahead to set the locks for us.
Hi guys. So this is now Rob and Tammy just helping us through Trenton Lock. Rob waiting at the lock for us, already opened. I and mean, Tammy have prepared it. There's Anthony just going in on Morning Star now. So Rob's just told us there's another boat coming up the lock so we're just hanging out here on the lock landing for them to come through.
After just over five hours, we were already on the outskirts of Stone. excited Pete was to finally get to the original home of the Jules Brewery. He's a proper beer nerd and Jules is one of his favourite pints. over the canal there, that's the flagship Jules Brewery Tap and Pete couldn't wait to go there for his first pint but first we had one more lock to do Some miracle, there were the perfect two mooring spots for the boats. Watch out, pop oh, in! We were so thankful for Rob and Tammy for their help that day. And we heard some great news that they got married last week, so congratulations guys. And we waved them on their way with a very hefty tip for all their hard work and we headed off to explore. Come for a walk around Stone with us.
you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and give us a like. And if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps our small channel grow. So